Welcome back. Thanks for staying tuned. It is still the nominees on view for the Future Awards Africa 2018. Got a guest. Of course. <laughs> Hello, Nancy. Hello. How are Hi, you? Nancy. Hi, Nancy. How are you doing? I'm okay. High you look from beautiful. Them. Thank you. And we'll we'll Bluetooth we'll high five. <laughs> we'll get to that. We already did. He's feeling left out. Aww. Sorry, Lulu. Now, you have to say it? <laughs> okay, so first of all, you look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Before you see that, wait now. Oh. Now, you're a winner, and you're a winner. Mm -hmm. Is this actually what TFAA winning does to you? Maybe it gives you that glow. <laughs> and you know the funniest part, I have no makeup on, so it's like, yeah. What are you, so are you trying to shade me? No, my sister. Sorry. <laughs> so you're saying my own beauty is unnatural? No, no. It's Even very that you don't have awards now. Yeah. I'm, I'm being it. Uh, rewind. <laughs> I love my Forget job. about that part I said. I love my job. Of man. course you love it. You're in the middle of two <laughs> beautiful yeah. women. So Nancy, how yes. has it been like winning the Future Awards Africa? It's been amazing. I mean, um, it's opened up new doors. It gave me a chance to talk about my story. Um, I think what it really is brought out of what it really like you know shed light on was the fact that I was pretty young when I won like I was literally 25 going 26 so winning that and then being able to talk about my story and how far I've come and it was more or less like a progress report and I was so grateful for that it's like on my shelf it's so huge so golden so beautiful and I'm really grateful for the opportunity to be a future award recipient at 25. Oh I see this girl going on I can't wait to win mine as well. <laughs> I was gonna ask you that how's your shelf looking Lulu? It's not a future award. Missing. <laughs> yeah. We're so, waiting for mine as well. Coming soon. Very but anyway, did you actually think you were going to win? I didn't. It's a funny story because like that day um, I had issues with my dress, my makeup artist, yes. Yeah. And like I had to use another makeup artist and I have this thing. I'm very, very, I don't, I like to work. Events are not really my forte. I could go a whole year without being seen in public, but just work. So when everything wasn't going right, I wanted to really go back and sleep. But the makeup artist kept going. Oh, Nancy, just do your makeup. Don't worry, just get it done. So I got it done. I got there really late. My friend was there. His name is PJ Pastor Jimmy Odukoya. He was updating me. And I got there. I think the, press, the vice president was about to leave. Everywhere was congested. But Jimmy kept telling me, they've not yet announced the category. Still try to come in. So I came in, walked through the red carpet, didn't do any red carpet. And I just, as soon as I walked in, still looking for a seat, they went, oh, and the nominee's for. And so I was like, no way. Why am I still standing? Doing? I should be sitting now so that when I don't wait, you know, I'll be like, <laughs> on like standing, standing, it's, everybody sees your expression. And then they called Nancy Sime and it was so surreal. Um, every win for me is such a blessing because I never thought I was going to be here doing any of this. So every award that I've received, every job that I've gotten, every recognition I've gotten both here and abroad is just amazing for me. It just shows me that God really is working and I'm not ready to interrupt him at the moment. So, you know, so inspirational. <laughs> So beautiful. Obviously, you are definitely an ideal TFAA winner because this is what we promote. Nigeria's new tribe, young people doing amazing stuff and still hoping to do more. Yes, so well yes. done. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, today you're doing something really important. Oh, okay. So last year you were on the receiving end waiting for your name to be called out on the night. Yes. This year you get to sit pretty, relax, uh -huh. mm -hmm. put the pressure on someone else yeah. and actually unveil the nominees. The nominees yeah. Right. Okay. And the nominees for the Future Awards Africa Prize for Business are... The nominees for the Future Awards Africa Prize in Sports are...
and the nominees for the Future Awards Africa Prize for Education endowed by the University of Sussex are. Nominees for the Future Awards Africa Prize for Technology are And the nominees for the Future Awards Africa Prize for New Media are Nancy for helping us to unveil the nominees. Now just before we continue on the show today as we have more nominees to unveil, here's a look at what our past winners of the TFAA had to say about winning the awards. Well for me winning the future awards African is it means a lot to me because as you know I've been to different uh, awards and most of them are the music awards but when it comes to the future uh, awards it's, it's something different like there's there's a musician there's a football player there's entrepreneurs there's different people i mean the whole africa is is in this award so for me being one of the winner like it means a lot to me even Apart from being a winner, but apart, even being nominated to that award means a lot to me. Winning the Future Awards Africa for Creative Artist of the Year in 2011 meant a lot to me. It opened up doors that I never thought would be opened. Um, it was a prestigious award that's very respectful within my peers and those um, above above us. The, the award inspired me to do more because it seemed, it made me realize that people were actually watching and people were getting inspired by what I did, especially from a lot of comments and um, phone calls and text messages that I received after winning the award. So in 2013, I was nominated for the Future Awards uh, under the category of Advocacy and Activism. And uh, I was very sure that I was going to win, but I didn't. Obviously, everyone in the category was just a high flyer. They had done so well in their communities across different countries, you know, in this continent. So being nominated alone was a huge honor and I was very grateful for that. In 2014, I was nominated again, but under the category of um, community action, which resonates very well with the work that I've done over the years in Nigeria. 
And I remember sitting on that chair at this huge, big hall in Lagos, and uh, they announced the, uh, the nominees. Honestly, I didn't think I was going to win. This is not even a matter of I'm trying to make it look very uh, sweet or anything. I actually didn't think I was going to win because everyone in that category, again, was just phenomenal. But they called me and they said I won, so I was elated, filled with joy. I didn't prepare any speech or talk. I just said, thank you very much to Future Awards. Thank you very much, <laughs> Red. Thank you very much, everyone, for nominating me. And um, But more importantly, I think winning the award was a pat on my back. It was like telling me, well done. The work you're doing is recognized. The work you're doing is valuable. The work you're doing is appreciated. Um, it was also a motivator for me because it, it, it gingered me to do a lot more than I did in the past.